What if I told you OpenAI wasn't even Sam Altman's boldest bet? It's a nuclear power company called Oklo that's all over the news lately, if only you know where to look. They're building something crazy, a tiny nuclear reactor about the size of a hot tub. We all know we need clean energy, but nuclear power often gets a bad reputation. Let's break down the difference between traditional nuclear fission power plants and what Oklo is planning. Traditional nuclear can cost $35 billion to stand up and take more than a decade to build. They span thousands of acres, require thousands of people to maintain, and waste over a thousand tons of energy. The Oklo Aurora reactor is planned to cost only $60 million, be the size of a hot tub, built underground with zero human maintenance, and fueled by nuclear waste, which turns something that was a huge cost center into a huge advantage. Sounds pretty good, right? Sam Altman thought so too. He spent the majority of the last decade as the company's chairman. Here's the timeline. After the company was founded in 2013, they went through Y Combinator in 2014, met and got a seed check from Sam, who then became chairman in 2015. In 2024, he helped them IPO via SPAC, then stepped down in 25. People speculate it's not because he doesn't believe, but instead so they can partner with OpenAI and others without any conflict. This September, the company was selected as one of four companies to join a Department of Energy pilot to speed up nuclear power. Then, on October 21st, the Department of Energy sent out an application to any interested companies to apply for up to 19 metric tons, 42,000 pounds, of plutonium, the stuff inside nuclear weapons that we keep in reserve. Oklo is one of the companies that check the box for yes. They will recycle that plutonium as a temporary fuel for their reactors while they wait for the government to unlock their uranium supply they'll ultimately need. How about the business model? The back of the envelope math is one reactor creates 50 megawatts of power utilized at 80% all year, which means 350 megawatts of power a year. They'll charge an average of $100 a megawatt, totaling $35 million a year in revenue for just one reactor. A single reactor can power 33,000 homes, one large data center, or one military base. That's not just for a year, that's for 20. It promises to last that long without any intervention. Since their debut, Oklo stock is up a staggering 650%, but this week it took a turn. It dropped 16% because famed public investor, Kathy Woods Ark Invest sold off 53,000 shares, citing too much hype. No revenues, only LOIs, and a long time horizon still to go. The first reactor is supposed to go live in 2027. Let's watch what happens next.